I, look. My gosh, they, hi everyone. So welcome to the seventh and final week of my B2B throwback series. And if this is your first time watching any of my B2B throwback series, uh, I have been watching every single B2B music video starting from their debut all the way until their most recent comeback. Kinda. So I will link the playlist of all of my previous B2B videos so you guys could check it out in case you guys missed any. So today we're gonna be watching Only One For Me and Beautiful Pain. Like I said in my previous video, one of you guys did suggest um, that I do make a video talking about their Japanese music videos and things like that. So I do plan on doing that. Uh, it'll be more of a talk video rather than a reaction type video because copyright is very strict with Japanese releases. Uh, yeah, and I don't wanna risk getting my video taken down or anything. The point is I do plan on doing that. I just have to figure out how to fit it in my schedule. So either sometime in December or maybe even in January, again, depending on how my schedule is and stuff. So once again, this series has been an appreciation for B2B and their music videos and music. So I have seen these music videos before. This is not my first time watching them. But once again, this is just an appreciation because we gotta appreciate B2B, all right? Comedic, comedy, genius, kings. So with all that being said, let's watch their music video for Only One For Me. Look at how good they look. Oh. Oh my gosh. I love how the camera is like, it's like a one take type of thing. So just, it's like following them around and stuff. Mm. Can I say Chang Sub and Sung Jae in white suits? Like, mm. oh, and I love that transition. How Minhyuk goes back, and then boom, they wake up in like a dock. Like. I love this. I love that this music video, it's like chill summer. Oh, I love this. And like their vocals, and it's just, oh. Pinyo with his iconic verses, yes. This is, oh my gosh. First of all, I love how they're styled, right? Like I already mentioned that, but I love how they film this in different places. You know, like they're on the road, they're on the dock and like, oh. they, I just realized there's a bathtub in the dock. I just, I just realized that. Oh my gosh, like Unkwang's vocals while Minhyuk is rapping, it's like, oh. mm. Like I mentioned this before and I'll keep saying it, how B2B's songs are, it's like the rap verses with their vocals, it blends, it, it just complements each other and it's... Oh. 
it's like, ugh, I don't know how to explain it. I love, I love that shot when it's like all of them. Look, I love when, I love when all of them like are together and they're kind of like staring at the camera. There, I love that. I love that shot. I love how this music video, it is, and the song, it feels so fresh. I mean, I love their vocals, the rap verses, and this song, it's like summer, but like not in your face summer. It's like chill summer. And I think the music video perfectly embodies that. And this music video is so fun to watch because they're just having fun and they're just being themselves. And I love that with B2B, they have videos that it's dark, dramatic, full of so much emotion. And then they have music videos that it's just them being themselves, goofing around. And I love the duality of B2B. So with that being said, let's check out the next music video and it is Beautiful Pain. So we all know this music video is going to be darker. It's gonna be dramatic and I love it. So let's watch it. The piano. The piano gets me every time. <sighs> mm. I love how this is the opposite of, like, I like how B2B, they release, like, a fun video. Dramatic, fun, dramatic, like, the back and forth. <laughs> Hyunsik. Musical genius, incredible vocalist, and actor. I mean, mm. Yilhoon has one of the cutest smiles. I think everyone can collectively agree that listening to Chang Sub's vocals makes you melt. Like, it's just... Ugh. I love how this music video, it's like, it's telling like two stories at the same time. Again, like B2B, they're great storytellers in their music and in their performances and in their music videos, especially. Like, look at the setting. I mean, oh. I love Pinyo's verse. His verses are so good. And then see how his verse and then it transitions to vocals and then the harmonies and this. Ah. Vocals. And then. See, it's like, again, like the back and forth, like how each member is able to portray like just these heartbreaking emotions. It like, 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 like did, you, did you just see Min Hyuk's transition? Like, like either A, who hurt them? Or B, give them a freaking Oscar for like their, how, how just they're able to tap into these emotions. So realistically. I love this part. And then Hyun Six, like low, like vocals, his verse, and it's like. <sighs> oh.
Oh my gosh, this. Oh. Like, hello, like, I, like, oh. my gosh, they really put their all, it's like, I, like, as, while well, I'm watching this, and I've seen this several times, like, I still feel it, like, I'm like, dang, like, should I cry too, like, oh, like, it is so impactful, how they tap into these incredible emotions, and they really portray the feelings within the song, which that is something that I 100% love about B2B, um, and the story, you know, the, like, it's, mm, I'm telling you, it's movie worthy. It's like, they deserve all the awards. And I, I just, I love it. I love the back and forth between seeing B2B have fun, bright concepts or like really cool concepts and stuff. And then do really dark, dramatic, full of emotion. For example, Pray I'll Be Your Man. That is one of my favorite music videos ever. All right, and it's a perfect example of telling a story. Same for Beautiful Pain, and it's like, I love that. So anyway, I would watch Outsider, but I already reacted to Outsider when it was released and stuff, and I cannot wait for all the members to be together again. I know Hyunsik and Sungjae, they should be getting out of the military pretty soon. So I'm really excited and hopefully they'll release something. I, I don't know when B2B will have a full comeback as a full team again. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to that whenever that day comes. And overall, I love the duality of B2B. I love how they're just a genuine group. They're, the interactions between each other and with Melody, their fans, it is very genuine and full of heart and full of funniness. Like, they are funny without trying to be. They are a ray of sunshine, and I love this group. I love their music, and their music videos are top-notch. I think they all deserve an award. So, in my previous video, one of you guys commented saying, Pray, I'll be your man. Didn't get any music show wins. I, I find that very hard to believe. That That's very, very, very hard to believe, considering it is one of the greatest pieces of art Ever. I don't know. I don't know what was going on in the industry back then. I really don't know. But that song alone deserves all the awards. So with that being said, if you guys have any cool fun facts about B2B during this era, you guys could leave them on the comments below in case someone is new to B2B and they stumble upon this video one way or another. They could kind of like read your comments and learn more about B2B because I find that really cool. So with all that being said, that's a wrap on the B2B throwback series. Uh, keep your eyes on my channel community post center thing and also on my Twitter. Whenever I announce the B2B Japanese music video throwback series, which again, I don't know when I'll do that. Probably sometime in December, maybe January. Again, depending on my schedule. I look forward to continuing talking about B2B with you guys because it is such a blast. If you're new to my channel, Hello, welcome. You guys could feel free to subscribe. I post videos, I post reaction videos on a weekly basis, and I also have a blog where I talk more about K-pop comebacks. I'll link my blog on the description box below so you guys could check it out. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.